I'm Ethan Johnson, and this is my build, The Battle of Nu Nguyen. It's uh, based off of the battle depicted in uh, Band of Brothers, episode four. And uh, this is basically the scene where they're going into the city and they get ambushed by the Germans. Now, uh, you are almost solely responsible for this, right? Yes, I am. I started this early in March and uh, finished it at the show, uh, building it all by myself. And um, a, a little bit of slave labor, perhaps? Uh, a little bit, a little bit. My friends helped me assemble it once I got here. Were they coerced into that? Did you promise them free Lego in any capacity? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. That's very cool. All right. Awesome build here. Now, uh, describe what we're looking at here. Uh, run us through some of the different little scenes that you've uh, sort of set up and uh, the different uh, action like bits that are occurring. Okay. Um, well, over here towards the uh, front of the mock, there's the road where they're coming in and they're evacuating the uh, injured Americans. And as you go into the city, the American paratroopers are uh, trying to take cover as they get ambushed by the Germans. And uh, the tanks moving into the city, the uh, machine gunners setting up positions and uh, just making, getting ready for battle. Very cool, very cool. Now, when you were putting this whole scene together, um, did you uh, like look at screenshots? You mentioned bands of bro Band of Brothers. Did you look at screenshots from yes. the show? Was that your primary? Uh, uh, yeah, I actually had two primary sources: both the screenshots from the show and actual photographs from the battle. Okay. Um, yeah. Very cool. Now you have some really wonderful buildings here. Where did you get the inspiration for the designs of these buildings? Um, these are actually based off of real buildings uh, located in Holland around the area of Nguyen. Yeah. Um, some of the buildings were destroyed in the battle, so there's not many photographs, but these are like area-specific buildings that I've replicated. Very cool. Were there any uh, builders that sort of inspired you? Maybe town builders even, like the techniques that they use? Yeah, yeah. Um, some of the guys from the St. Merrick Lees collaboration, uh, Elliot and... Um, Intense Potato inspired this, some of their buildings, and um, Gary Brooks from some of the historical stuff inspired oh, Gary this. Brooks stuff is amazing, yeah, yeah. We definitely, we've done a few videos with Gary. He's uh, got some really, really yeah, good stuff. I worked with him on Waterloo last year. That's awesome. And so, uh, describe what you have in mind for the future for this layout. Do you have a ton of stuff going on? Do you think this will be the last time uh, you're going to display this, or are you going to add on to it um, in any capacity? I might display this at Brick Fair, Alabama. But um, this will not be back next year. I'll have a new display for next year. So Very cool, very cool. Now, with such a large build, um, is there anything you wish you knew before you started that uh, might improve your ability to, uh, I don't know, execute such a, a large display? Um, not really. It's just time and patience. Once you get going, you got to work through a problem until you get it right. You don't give up. You just got to work through the problems. Very cool, very cool. And to kind of close this out here, um, just run through maybe your favorite like uh, builds, your favorite uh, sequences of, you know, action sequences, figures, uh, whatever you want to point out. Just uh, run us through a few things that you really like. Yeah, I really enjoyed building this road, all the sloping and the, the drainage area where the water runs off, and then the shed over there with all the techniques, the snot. Um, and then coming into the city, uh, my favorite build was the church. Like, those windows were a, a really fun build um, to get the curved window design. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, wonderful build, Ethan. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Thank you.